Well, happy Friday, everybody. Patty here. Um, while I'm on my patrol for Comet Anki, um, not having much luck, uh, locating it, even though it's supposed to be right in front of our faces right now, um, I've come across some information about Comet Ison that, um, was supposed to have, uh, suicided itself into the sun, uh, November 28, 2013. Um, from Science News, Comet Ison may have survived. You go over here. Comet Ison gets roasted by sun and vanishes, but did it survive? And it says here, I know the source is NASA, so bear with me. Summary. Continuing a history of surprising behavior, material from Comet Ison appeared on the other side of the sun on the evening of November 28, 2013, despite not having been seen in observations during its closest approach to the sun. Okay, here are three images. As you can see, this is part of Comet Ison that actually it did survive. It came this way. I'll get the the, the other video out. The red. Uh oh. It's got a commercial going on. <laughs> you gotta love those cats. Anyway, so here it is. It's not uh, it's not animated, but I'm gonna show you the animated one. And hold on, I do pause the video so you don't have to watch me uh, flip from one screen to the next. So here's a short clip of um, Comet Ison. That's Comet Ison. Should be moving. Oh, there we go. See? Now watch. It actually did survive. Okay? It did survive. <laughs> I guess they forgot to tell us that Ison is still out there. Uh, hallelujah. <laughs> Call it a cosmic holiday miracle. The much anticipated comet Ison appeared to disintegrate during its Thanksgiving Day slingshot around the sun Thursday. But something, it seems, may have survived. The sun-grazing comet Ison vanished from view of the NASA's Solar Dynamics SOHO SDO, I'm sorry, Solar Dynamics Observatory during an extremely close encounter with the sun on Thursday, November 28th, leading scientists to suspect the worst. We didn't see comet Ison on in SDO, said Dean Pesnell, project scientist for SDO. So we think it must have broken up and evaporated before it reached perihelion. Well, I guess even them their old scientists from NASA can be wrong, too. But for some reason, this never made the general public, uh, you know, made, never made it to the general public. So, we still have common ice on out there. Yeah, you can check out all the timestamps here, and it's way around the, the sun. Ison appears as a white smear right here, okay. heading up and away from the sun. Ison was not visible during its closest approach to the sun, so many scientists thought it had disintegrated. But images like this from the ESA, NSA, NSA and ASA Solar and Heliospheric Observatory suggested that a small nucleus right there be intact. So basically Ison's still out there. It's just a little smaller. <laughs> hey, and now from Science News. The comet that disappeared. What happened to Ison? This was August of last year. National Center for Atmospheric Research, and CAR. Summary. Comet Ison. Right there. A bright ball of frozen matter from the earliest days of the universe 
was inbound from the Oort cloud at the edge of the solar system and expected to pierce the sun's corona on November 28th. Scientists were expecting quite a show. A new study suggests the comet actually broke up before reaching the sun. <laughs> I'm laughing because, you know, I'm, I love my comets, you know, and, and I kind of already knew that Ison was still alive. I knew that uh, there was some BS around the whole entire story about it disintegrating. And now that i found this information, it, it confirms I was right. So, um, it survived. It, uh, it's a sun grazing comet. Um, you know, I can continue on and on in reading you all this stuff. But it's kind of irrelevant to, to the topic. The topic is basically, Ison is still there. Okay? A new study suggests that the comet actually broke up before reaching the sun. Right there. So, where is Comet Ison now? <laughs> That's anybody's guess. Anyways, have a good day, everybody, and thank you for watching.